So this video we are going to do some questions on uh, electrochemistry. Uh, we will learn how to predict the best oxidizing agent, reducing agent based on the standard reduction potential. So to begin with, let's just revise on our standard reduction potential once more. For a reference, the table is given here. As you are aware of that in the middle we have the standard hydrogen electrode SHE with a zero electrode potential and all of them are reduction potential and above them we have the positive value above the hydrogen electrode we have the positive value and below the hydrogen electrode we have the negative values and uh, for a reaction to be spontaneous just remember that the value of E has to be positive see all the <coughs> ions given at the bottom will because they have a negative uh, uh, reduction potential they will uh, uh, prefer to react in the reverse way or in other words they will prefer to get oxidized and therefore they will act as an anode and uh, at the top they will prefer to act as cathode therefore cathode um, uh, anode is oxidation cathode we have the reduction and the reaction which corresponds to them is also given over there and um, we also know that since the electrons are produced at the anode, the electrons will go from anode to cathode as shown over there and uh, due, because of the values of the negative and the positive values, the one at the bottom, they will prefer to get oxidized and will act as the best reducing agent and all the one which at the top will prefer to get reduced and will be the best oxidizing agent. Now let's do some questions. Based on the standard reduction potential, predict the strongest oxidizing and the reducing agents. The reactions given are Au3 plus giving you Au, barium 2 plus giving you B, their barium, Pb2 plus giving you Pb, and the last one is Fe3 plus giving you Fe2 plus. And you know that for a reaction to be spontaneous, delta G0 equals negative Nf E0 cell, or E has to be uh, since delta G has to be negative, E has to be positive. Therefore, the first reaction is spontaneous as written. The second one and the third one are not spontaneous. And the fourth one is spontaneous as written. So therefore, uh, best oxidizing agent will be the one that gets reduced easily. And hence, Au3+, plus, it will be the strongest oxidizing agent because it has the largest E0 value, largest positive E0 value, and hence, that reaction will be highly favored and Au3 plus can get very easily reduced to Au and therefore Au3 plus will be the strongest oxidizing agent. Now for the reducing agent, the reaction has to be an oxidation reaction. So all the reaction which I have written, if you reverse that and the one which will have the strong largest positive value will be the reaction second, Ba when it gets ready, uh, reversed, it will become Ba giving you Ba2 plus plus 2 electron with a E0, E0 value of positive 2.90. Hence, barium will be the strongest reducing agent. So now, arrange chlorine, oxygen, H2O2, Pb in the decreasing strength of the reducing agent based on the half cell reaction given below. There are four reactions given below and you could see that equation 1, 2, 3, the E0 is positive and for the fourth one, E0 is negative. That means the fourth reaction which has lead uh, will be more spontaneous in the reverse direction. So they are asking you for the reducing agent. So you should see that the best, you know that the best reducing agent is the one that gets oxidized easily. So out of all the four reactions given, the fourth reaction being with a negative E0 is the one which is more favorable in the reverse direction. That means Pb will be more easily oxidized to PbSO4 rather than PbSO4 getting reduced to Pb. Therefore, our first choice will be Pb. Pb will be the uh, best reducing agent uh, among the uh, four given. Now let's consider chlorine, oxygen and uh, hydrogen peroxide. Based on the reactions 1, 2 and 3 given, none of them are reducing agent. Actually because they are uh, 
they have a positive reduction potential therefore they will get reduced easily and they will all be good oxidizing agent but here they have asked you to arrange in terms of the reducing agent therefore more positive e value l they will be um, more over they will be worse reducing agent so based on that so out of the three if you want to pick up the lot oxygen with a lesser positive value will be a better reducing agent as compared to chlorine uh, and then comes a hydrogen peroxide um, peroxide because it has the most positive e0 reduction potential value therefore that will be a better uh, oxidizing agent than reducing agent hence the order is pb o2 chlorine and h2o2 so you just uh, go over the values again and try to understand what i'm saying and uh, the order is based on the reaction which is given over there and basically chlorine oxygen hydrogen peroxide will be a better uh, oxidizing agent than reducing agents identify the strongest oxidizing agents so you are given uh, equation 1 with bromine equation 2 with fe2 plus and uh, the third equation is with sn4 plus and the fourth one with cobalt 3 plus so we know that we have been learning that the best oxidizing agent is the one that gets reduced easily and that has the most positive e reduction and if you look at the values given over there cobalt 3 plus has the most positive value for e0 therefore cobalt 3 plus will be the strongest oxidizing agent uh, in the all the equations given there so if you want to put them in an order if the order will be cobalt 3 plus then comes bromine then comes sn4 plus then fe2 plus this is the order in the decreasing strength as the oxidizing agent identify the strongest reducing agent and you are given four equation fe2 plus 1 the al3 plus 1 sn4 plus and with sodium and you see that out of uh, all the four given the third one is a positive value all the others are negative therefore equation 1 2 and 4 are spontaneous the reverse way and since they are asking you for the reducing agent more positive oxidation uh, reaction will have the will be the best reducing agent and hence sodium the reaction 4 the sodium reaction with the most positive uh, e zero value in the reverse direction will be the best reducing agent and if you want to put them in an order sodium will be first then will come aluminum then iron and sn2 plus will be the last in the order of decreasing strength as reducing agent arrange fluorine iodine water and pbo2 in the decreasing strength as uh, oxidizing agent and uh, four half reactions are given to you and uh, we know that the best uh, oxidizing agent is the one that gets reduced easily so if you look at the equations 1 2 and 4 they have positive values E0 values and third has a negative E0 value and that reaction is spontaneous in the reverse direction. The one with the most positive value is uh, chlorine. Therefore, that will be the uh, uh, the best oxidizing agent. Then will come PbO2 and then it will be iodine and water will be the last. For the given half cells, predict the combination that will have the maximum E cell value. You are given four cells. The first two are negative, and the second two are positive. So we have to identify the combination which will give me the best cell value. So we know that the half cell with the most positive reduction potential will get reduced and will can be act as a cathode. Therefore, I can choose AU with the a largest positive value. I can take it as the cathode. Now, for the E cell to be large. The E reduction potential should be far apart. Therefore, the cell with the largest E cell will be gold as the cathode and magnesium as the anode as written. So, this combination, if you calculate the E cell value, cathode minus anode, I can get the value of E cell and that comes as 3.87. So, if you want to check this, try other combinations. And you will find that the value you calculate will be lower than this. And just to, uh, just for a question to think and try out, find out the cell that will have the least cell potential value. 
that is find out which combination will have the uh, when I put it together as a cathode on the anode will have the least value as cell potential.